Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. No Thanksgiving table would be complete without a big old turkey in the center and today I'm going to share with you guys my signature juicy and flavorful oven roasted turkey. I'm going to start with my butter and herb spread and we're going to stuff it full of goodies, get it ready for a roasting in the oven and I'll show you guys how to make the most delicious turkey gravy to go along with this. Now in a separate video I'm going to show you guys how to carve this turkey up like a pro so you can make it look beautiful for any holiday table. I'm going to start things off with my butter spread. In a bowl here, I've softened one cup of unsalted butter. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt, a tablespoon of smoked paprika, a tablespoon of dried basil, a tablespoon of dried oregano, a tablespoon of dried thyme, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of onion powder. Add a little ground black pepper to that and then mix this all together. And now for the star ingredient, our turkey. Today I'm using a nine pound turkey, which is a fairly small one. So if you're making a turkey like say 15 or 20 pounds, you can adjust the amount of ingredients, especially for that butter spread uh, to accommodate a larger turkey. Now I like to place it um, onto a baking sheet and onto a wire rack. I'll just collect all that moisture that's going to drip off the turkey. And I'm using a paper towel just to absorb any of that extra moisture. And now the secret to getting the most flavor into your turkey is actually putting some of that butter underneath the skin. That way it's trapped underneath there while that turkey is roasting. So the trick to doing that is grab like a little uh, rubber spatula or the back of a spoon and slide it underneath that skin. And you wanna be careful that you don't puncture the skin. Just slide it underneath there gently. And now that we have our turkey prepped, we can start adding some of that seasoned butter on the inside. Just push it in there with a little spatula. You can also do this with your fingers. And then use your hands to kind of spread that butter underneath the skin. And once you have those turkey breasts seasoned underneath, it's time to spread that remaining butter all over the rest of the turkey. So just spread a generous amount over the drumsticks, over the wings, over the top, and this is just going to add so much incredible flavor, and it's going to give you one of the best turkeys you've ever had. And once the outside is all covered in that delicious butter, I'm also going to season the inside with some salt. Just throw in a couple teaspoons of sea salt on the inside. And today I'm going to stuff this with citrus, and this citrus is going to add so much incredible flavor to this recipe. I've just sliced up an orange and a lemon, and I put some of those pieces in there, and I'm going to alternate uh, with adding some shallots and garlic on the inside as well. And then I'm also going to add a large bundle of fresh rosemary and fresh thyme. And to keep this turkey together, grab about a three foot section of butcher's twine. And I'm going to start by wrapping it around the back side of the turkey first, bringing it forward. And we're going to wrap it around the drumsticks just once and then tie them together. And then make sure you tuck these little wings underneath the turkey so that they don't get burnt. They're really thin and they're on the outside, so they're bound to get burnt first. And this turkey is ready to go into the oven. I have mine preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The last thing I like to do is grab a little piece of foil and wrap it around the ends of the drumsticks. That way they don't get burnt in the oven. And this turkey is going to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours and 15 minutes. Now, the timing is all based on the size of your turkey. So I'm gonna leave a little handy chart on my blog. Just head down to my video description box below, follow that link over to my website and get the right timing for the size of your turkey. At the two hour baking mark, I'm going to take my turkey out of the oven. And instead of basting it, I'm just going to brush it with even more butter over the top, which is going to just make this turkey so juicy. And I'm also going to add one cup of chicken broth into the roasting pan. This is going to add extra moisture into the oven. 
I just took my turkey out of the oven and let me tell you guys, my house smells so incredible. Now I recommend basting the turkey twice, half an hour before it's done and then once you take it out, just grab your baster and suck up all those incredible juices from the bottom of the pan and give your turkey a couple pour overs. Once you've basted your turkey, just let it sit in the roasting pan for about 15 to 20 minutes. At this point, it's just so piping hot. You don't want to burn yourself, and also you want to let some of those juices get reabsorbed back in there. And now let me show you how to make a delicious turkey gravy. So all these drippings at the bottom of the pan, what you want to do is strain them through a fine mesh strainer. And I've also lined mine with a cheesecloth. It's just going to help catch all those little tidbits. Just pour that over a large measuring cup. And turkey drippings have a lot of fat. So just let this stand for about five minutes. That oil will rise up to the fat. You could strain that off. And then you want to keep those drippings that will settle at the bottom. For my gravy sauce, I'm going to add half a cup of unsalted butter into a small saucepan and allow that butter to melt. And once the butter is melted, add in half a cup of all-purpose flour. And then whisk this mixture until it's nice and smooth and then cook it for about two to three minutes, allowing that flour to cook. Then slowly begin adding two cups of chicken broth. Make sure you get a, give it a good whisk after each addition. And last, add in the turkey drippings. Season this to taste with a little bit of salt. Make sure you taste it before you add that salt because those drippings can sometimes be quite, uh, quite salty. Add a little bit of ground black pepper and let this mixture come up to simmer. Now, if you want the gravy to be thicker, you can add less chicken broth. If you want it to be thinner, add more. And then pour that gravy into a beautiful gravy boat for serving. Let me tell you guys, my whole house is filled with the most incredible aroma. And I love uh, lots of gravy in my turkey. Mmm. I can't wait to enjoy this turkey all season long. I make this for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for any kind of special dinner get together. It is the perfect turkey. It's so juicy and tender and it's packed with so much incredible flavor. It's got garlic and I love that smoked paprika. It gives a smoky flavor to the turkey. And then you have those citrusy flavors and this turkey gravy really finishes it off. So if you're looking for a no fail, delicious turkey recipe, just head down into my video description box. I've left a link there that'll take you over to my blog. You'll find the full recipe where you could print it off, save it for yourself, and of course, share it with all your family and friends. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.